Even if I were truly courting you, I'd be five minutes alone with you in a drawing room. And you know what? I believe him. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm just the ordinary black girl. Chew and call me this nigga. That's what my mama named me. In T ways, as you know, or maybe you don't know, this could be your first time seeing me, but I've decided to start watching Bridgerton. I watched the first episode, I think it was called Diamond of the First Water. Let me try to refresh my memory right quick. Okay, you got Daphne Bridget Bridgerton. I think in the Bridgerton universe, all the girls are basically raised to get husbands. When I, I, li I like to think that they turn 18, then they gotta get them a husband. The queen picked Daphne to be the fairest of them all, but, uh, damn, fell to work, fell to something. Anyway, it was a lady named Fell to some, something. Her husband, cousin, came into town. And the cousin was, I guess, prettier than Daphne. Now, I ain't say that, but I think that's what everybody else was thinking. So Daphne ended up getting her shine stolen from her, and none, none of the boys want her like that no more. So, you got the Duke of Hastings. You got the Duke of Hastings, he came and he don't want to get married. So him and Daphne made this plan to where he they act like they like each other so she can look desirable and he can look like he's taken so people can stop trying to get him married off. Then you got Lady Whistle Down, she's been spilling the tea, she writing her little, I'm gonna say blog, this is 1816, but she writing her little blog and she spilled everybody tea. And you know what? Now that I was thinking about it, Lady Whistledown slick sound like that lady that raised the Duke of Hastings. Like, I know that's not his mama, but she raised him from what she said. Now, she slick sound like her, but I ain't saying nothing. No, I, I know I left out a lot of more characters, no Penelope, but anyway, <laughs> I'm ready to get into the next episode, so we gonna do that. Laying next to me, I don't wanna wait. Y'all know, gotta turn out this ring. Like I don't want it all in my grill while I'm trying to, while I'm trying to get into the show. It's gonna be hard. I think that's a little too low. Okay, we enough. What is this? This is like a flashback or something. Oh, it's that that girl sheets. I think. Oh, wait, who is this? That's not. I think her name is Marissa. That's not Marissa. Who's having a baby? Wait, is this uh, is this the Duke of Hastings being born? What is it? What is it? Damn, man, relax. Hey, worry about the baby, but worry about your wife too, sir. Damn. I looked it up on Google. They say his name Simon, but I ain't heard nobody call him that yet, so I'm just gonna call him the Duke. I just see black people and he black, so I have a son. I'm assuming that's him. They all they worry about. Oh Lord, she about to die doing childbirth, huh? And this how she ended up having to raise. Okay, this is him being born. Because this how she ended up having to raise him. And he didn't even worry about his wife. Come on, I understand you got a baby. I understand you got a baby, but let's worry about your wife. Damn, is that the same bed? Now they know they could throw that bed away. It will not be necessary. That's so the bed. The bed just been like that for what? 20, 20 some odd years. Ugh. That will forever be this them. Girl, if you don't bath yourself, it don't take this. Now, this, this is trifling. If you just too rich to bath yourself, that's just too much money. Phoenix like from the but booty neck in front of them people. I say so. This, this put her back at Duke of this put her back at the top because she was seen with him because he liked to eat, boy, huh? I mean, I, I get it. He the finest thing I've seen on the screen so far. He is smiling. And they just faking it. They probably think they plan Definitely made it. Be <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know these people plan. If I were truly courting you, I'd be five minutes alone with you in the drawing room. And you know what? I believe him. I should imagine with you it comes naturally. They know they, I believe they're going to end up on each other. I believe they're going to end up on each other. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, what's going on? Miss Thompson's condition. Good. The looks have faded. You know, Let it go. But them things stand up, though. Let me stop. What are we going to do? Oh, they know about her being pregnant? I know. She about to tell. Oh. With child. Penelope. Penelope, you know you my girl. But this is not your business to tell. 
How did she become a child if she's not married? I do not know. She got freaky with somebody out of wedlock. Does that not exist in this time? Lying and tearing. Also missed that she okay. might have taken. There's a Benedict, there's a Colin, and the nasty one. I think I want to say his name, Anthony. How does a lady come to be with child? Oh, Lord. We were just heading off to take our sticks out. Colin! Oh, what is he talking about? But the Duke, you, you already have a caller, dearest. Well, she want more. She got some real callers because they supposed to be faking. What is happening? He's still trying to marry her off to him? And why is he still there? Did you get punched in the face yesterday? I wore my satin knee breeches for the occasion. <sighs> for now, you must go. Along Why with is he trying everyone to marry else? her off to him so bad? Why is he the one? Barbara. Whatever happened to his eye? It's quite grotesque. <laughs> Charmed a duke, Anthony. You must know that changes and everything. And they block out anything. Everything. To both of us. Expensive ones. He don't want the duke to have her at all. It certainly appears that way to me. I will not. Will he never marry because of some because of what happened to his mother? The contract of Burbrook will be drawn up and you shall marry. Is the family going like broke and they trying to marry her off to the richest man or something? Maybe I'm thinking too fine to him being in love with his sister. Maybe, maybe I'm projecting or something. I don't know. Maybe the family going broke and he want the girl to marry the richest man in town. But wouldn't that be the dude? Wouldn't Duke get? Wouldn't the Duke have more money than that dude? So maybe I'm just thinking all out the, I'm all outside the box. I saw the way the two of you looked at each other last night and this morning. She ain't special. I look at him like that too. <laughs> Baby, what you got going on? Oh, no. no, he like to be beat. truly. Oh. Are you going to come down here or must I come up there? Go up there. My fists have taken enough pounding from your chin today. I don't know why that sounded so erotic to me. She is my sister. Uh -uh. But surely you can understand that family must come before all else. Anthony, shut the fuck up. I don't care about nothing you talking about, honestly. He would have to be bloody Shakespeare with his letters if he can. Daddy, look me. I shall get a sound from him still. No. I will. Never mind it did. Maybe you do got to beat the child to get them to say something. He's an imbecile. Your Grace. Oh. He is an idiot. I see why he hate his daddy now. Oh, Lord. And in the quivering hands of a half-wit. Oh, now he know he wrong. This boy is dead to me. Just because he stuttered? Wow. How did it happen? I guess the girls here don't know until they know. Okay. So they got to wait to marriage to learn about all the other things they should be teaching their girls something other than they need a man sir george crane sneaked me a wrapped bundle of cake and biscuit i've never longed for church quite so much maybe i'm getting the storyline wrong was she pregnant when she came there now i'm confused is it possible that there has not been a single compelling betrothal yet this season so marriage season is the only entertainment they get around here we better catch the eye of even more new suitors they don't understand why she's looking for somebody new because she's supposed to be with the Duke. But she's not actually with the Duke. Well, but she needs to thanks. be getting married soon, I imagine. And he's not trying to get married. So unless they fall in love for real, this is not going to end well. Which caused her harm. Her Majesty's Royal Stationery. Y'all need she to relax. To you, my lady. Well, I guess this is just this is the bee's knees to them. I am invited to a private tea with the she Queen. She's about to faint. Okay, more flashbacks. No news of your education, not a word about you from your father yet. He His daddy trippy. So I may look at you. Look at you. came in for our boy. I don't know about that fit, though. Well, then why ever are you not in school? Oh, because he stutter? Can no, not. This is a lot of commotion for some stutter. Well, I guess you gotta be perfect when this I was time. A girl. You can't be doing all that. And I made myself the most terrifying in creature. In other words, she any... gonna get him together. And she did, from what I seen. She got him together. He don't stutter no more. 
you will be worthy of the attention you come oh, on. She got, she got him together. I, I love this for them. Cause she not have no kids of her own, but do she have kids of her own? Or am I reading too far into the, I'm all in her business. Look at her business. I like her. Me too, y'all. Me too. Me too. Then, Lord I'm still trying to figure Anthony out. Maybe seeing he love his sister a scratch. Maybe some other stuff going on. Let me let me let me look and see. But he I'm definitely got some animosity around his sister one. getting married to anybody but that ugly ass thing right there. Let me leave that man alone. He deserved it. I'm sorry. I want to dance like this with somebody. I I I feel like being in these times would be cute if he wasn't a woman. You wish your sister's married to some too, but Lord Bridgerton. Right? What he promising this man? Daphne, obviously, but what's going on? Beauty for her grace, for her powerful right hook. He messy. But the authority on what matters concern me, nor on the matter of Lord Burbrook's character. Right? You don't even know that he yoked your sister up. Oh, do come off it, Burbrook. I presume he failed to mention how he got that purple eye. Did something last night I shall dignify with words when your sister plants a f deservedly so. Now we well, we are to be married. We are to be buried if you so much as look in our direction. Okay, big brother. Now you can marry somebody, but it ain't gonna be the dude because they're mad. Let me stop. You had no right. I was trying to help. Well, you did not. They like they having a they, they first little couple spat. To mention people are watching. Cause you. Cause y'all look like y'all having an argument. That's why people watching. I think his fear of not wanting to get, well, I don't think it's a fear. I think his thing about not wanting to get married goes back to his mother for some reason. Maybe he don't want to have a child cause the way his dad treated him. Boy, I know you ain't. I need her. So why can you not just let me have this one? She is a person. Why have you not already proposed? Unless you have already had her. Oh. <laughs> Boy, you... you have, you must tell me. For if I had already known, she she was loose and... <laughs> you are worried about the wrong thing. And if she she got it, I highly thought she gonna want to give it to you. I've heard the stories of your father, Hastings. Oh, I know. Lord, he didn't... He didn't brought up the man, Dad. The apple should not fall very far. Now, should what he do this for? Oh. Lord, now, what he do this for? He was asking for it. He even brought up this man, Daddy. They know that trigger him. Mm. He's still getting his ass beat. Learn to shut up. Mm. To get my man all out of his element. <sighs> I don't like that. I thought your grace might be relieved to know that your son is alive and well. So when he said you dead to me, he meant that. That's crazy. I am receiving high marks in all of my studies, sir. Now you want him. I wouldn't even want to go back to him. I even... Well, he scares him. I... That's probably why he stuttered. You are my worst failure. <sighs> He's sitting in here with this goddamn George Washington wig on and want to be talking about people. Which is out of my sight and with your bitch mouth sh... Oh! You received my letters. Not trying to hear. It is a deep enough wound to live with. Witness your struggle. It's too great an insult. Oh, because this boy is thought of. To forget that you ever sullied these all. Oh. No wonder my baby is so damaged. And she seems to have secured a duke. See, because it, Could the it look funny because why is she pursuing puppies when she got the top dog so it still looked funny i'm quite certain the duke should find it appealing does not matter so she, what the duke and thinks. i feel like even if she do choose somebody other than the duke it's still gonna be like why choose anybody else other than him the spirits and loosen the tongue i feel like she's somewhere at that party love that doesn't stand to reason i guess in this time they just can't fathom a woman being pregnant and there's no husband I was not aware, sister, of what Burbrook attempted. I would have helped you. Did you only change your mind about Lord Burbrook because another man told you the truth? There goes my baby. 
I beg your pardon. I like the way he talk. I beg your pardon. You need not feel your evident worry. My broke is. No. I do suppose if I were forced to take a wife, you would be the least objectionable option. They warming up to each other. You just supposed to pick whoever comes by you. Why they can't marry for love? Bridgerton? Is he not tired of being done? beat up? What would someone like say, Lady Whistledown, do with such? Boy, please. To offer, I have a Bridgerton, and I shall. Mm. Wait, relax, baby. Forward to the union of our great families. Can he do this? I guess he can. Look at their faces. I guess he can. They just the women just ain't got no rights. When a young woman, let alone one's sister, is rumored to be dishonored, the consequences shall be deadly. Really? So tiny mouth at any moment, and then I shall be ruined. If they find out that she possibly could have sort of got down out of wedlock, that'll just ruin her whole reputation. That's crazy. These times are dark. Poor her. Unless the Duke, I feel like he gonna marry her. Is he gonna come in and save her? Come on, baby. Nah, normally I wouldn't be telling my man to go to another woman, but. You will throw yourself into raising your family, and you will find. I'm glad they gave women rights. Because, wow. It's like an arranged marriage situation. You, you get who you can get, and you learn to love them later. This is, this is wild. This is wild. Even when I am not allowed to have anything else. And they just, they gotta do this. That's, man. That you're not the only one. He got some ears on this too, on him too. He don't want to, but he a man. He could just say he not going to get married and not get married and not be chest like she would be, I think. Because the Duke be saying he don't want to get married. Ain't nobody out. Well, he would be in his grill, but not like Daphne. People know he probably be out here slanging. People know he probably be out here slanging his, his, uh, around and no one cares but if Daphne is known to be popping her thing around and it's, it's a problem this is ridiculous and like that she gotta marry this man because even if he say it ain't even gotta be true and it's not true even if he say it people gonna believe it. then lady lady whistle down to probably write it in the little her blog and it just be all over town and poor Daphne will be ruined Oh, not, not the royal drugs. Expected a great future for your daughter upon a future with someone like a duke. Mm -hmm. Nigel is my one and only child. Mm. <laughs> Seemed like it too. Perfection had already been achieved. <laughs> my lady, I'm saying, mother, I prize accomplishment over beauty. I know, I know. <laughs> Lady Burbrook and the young Lord Burbrook to look after. You have no idea. What? Tell me what it is. Lord Burbrook has a boy by one of his maids that he refused to provide for. Horrible enough for us to be rid of him, let us pray. But they will if Lady Whistledown does. So we shall do what women... Gossip. We shall talk. I perhaps not the most lurid. Now she about to spill. The okay, they better spill the tea. Oh, oh she got braids in this town. I like guests to the box braids in 1816. Seems his displeasing appearance is quite. Damn, she just called him ugly in the news. So she liked that. She here for the tea. I've heard talk that Burbrick has left town. Damn to think the solution to our problem did not come about by chance. You weren't gonna figure it out, Anthony. Surely your mistress does not plan on confining me to this bedroom forever. Right, they gonna keep her in her whole pregnancy. Herself to blame for her confinement. Get your old... I'm gonna let it go. Surely you've not forgotten what happened to Mama. Her screams that night. Yeah, childbirth do sound terrible even now so imagine doing this time it must be taxing what the 
game of pretend that you feel you must endlessly maintain. I feel like Daphne actually want this though. Like she actually want the marriage and the man and the kids. I feel like she do though. But her sister don't want that, which is perfectly fine. I definitely understand that. Lost I know this song. What is this? You should know something. It's in my blood. Show me this. It isn't in my blood. Oh! Not the shot. And if you are not in agreement, then you should tell me now. Oh. So she gave him an ultimatum. On one condition. You do not understand, Your Grace. That you call me Simon. Daphne. Not mm. the bruised knuckles. She knows she feel that. And that's just find your husband. He right there in your face. That's your husband, girl. Come on. Simon, you know you feeling something. Come on, open your heart to love. It's okay. I know what you've been through, baby, but it's okay. Whatever is bothering you. He feeling something, but he ain't really trying to feel nothing. But he feeling something. Nothing at all. It's getting him. Lady it's getting him misty eyes. Ooh, I need a man to love me like that. That's another flashback. <gasps> now his daddy old in in the bed. My son. Now he your son. <laughs> Oh, he ever oh, cared about you. what's the name? Uh, what about your son? You dying. You dying on your deathbed. You. And that's the only thing you can talk about right now. You literally using your last breath to talk this shit. I will never marry. Oh. Oh. Hastings line will die with me. So he's doing this to spite his daddy. Damn. Well, it's clear enough for you, father. So, so he can never carry on a legacy. Oh. Speak. <sighs> hey. What goes around comes around. That was just Timberlake said. Come around, come around, come around. I'm back. Oh. Okay, I just finished my second episode of Bridgerton Shock and Delight. And there was some shock and some delight. So, let's let's unpack here. Let's talk about it. Okay, we got to see the Duke, Simon. We got to see his background. You know, his daddy. Oh, terrible, evil man. <laughs> Basically, this on the boy because he stutters. That's what I got from this storyline. Damn, it's, it's never that deep. So, I see why he don't want to get married. He doesn't want to carry on his family legacy. He said it's going to end with him. He did that despite his daddy. So I just wonder if Daphne going to make him change his mind. Because he had a little twinkle in his eyes towards the end when he was looking at her. So I'm thinking maybe she can change his mind. I don't know. I don't know. Because a man, a man's spite can be bigger than a man falling in love. So I don't know if, he's, if Daphne going to be the one to change his mind i'm glad we finally got rid of that that thing maybe we got rid of him maybe he'll come back i don't know maybe he'll come back with some ot but the fact that it's so crazy to me that all he had to do was say that him and daphne got down in the bushes that night and that would have ruined her whole reputation that's crazy no proof no nothing and that would have ruined her whole reputation so they had to get him up out of there because he tripping that's crazy anthony let me think about anthony now i was saying that now at first no this episode made me think maybe the family going broke and he tried to mirror her off to a rich man to ensure that they stay in the money so maybe he's not in love with his little sister but i don't know i don't know no more i don't know because it's definitely some animosity and some a little something because he definitely don't want her marrying the duke for some reason he really don't want her doing that so let's talk about uh i want to say her name marissa the cousin let's we just go call the cousin let's talk about the cousin that came from out of town that confused me a little bit too because i was like from what i had gathered from the last episode that her cousin mr fella word for fella bottom i know they named it fella in it i thought he had like all worded her and that caused her to end up pregnant but was she pregnant already pregnant when she got there does this man she was telling penelope about actually exist and i just got the storyline all wrong i don't know 
But that's why they made more episodes for me to find that out. Eloise don't want to be a part of this. And I get it because it's crazy to know that when you in this time and you birthed into this world as a woman, your only purpose is to get married and have some kids and take care of a man to keep the family legacy going on. That's your only purpose. That's the that's the woman's only purpose is to marry a man. That's their only purpose in this town. It's crazy. I would hate that. So I get why Eloise doesn't want it. I like the hope that she get out of it. I'm only in, on second episode. So maybe she found a way to not have to be a part of that. I hope. But anyways. We're going to end we gonna end this here. I did a little just too much talking. So like I always say. If you made it this far. Thanks for watching. You got to be here watching me watch this. But you are. And that's amazing. So thank you for being here. And I will see y'all in the next Bridgerton episode. Bye bye.